We are multi-dimensional beings living in a multi-dimensional universe with the ability to live consciously, accessing the subconscious information and the unconscious where we receive valuable guidance and information from the collective unconscious or universal intelligence. Aligning these levels of consciousness and ensuring that they work in unison with our conscious intention, we tap into a unified field of unending possibilities. We just need to make the decision. It is our choice, our power, and our right to demand of ourselves. And never more so than now. The time is now. We need to wake up to a higher level of consciousness. It is time to awaken to our history, the wisdom of Isis and through the eyes of Horus to see the universe as a whole. The connectedness that exists all around us, the ancient knowledge that exists within us is available. We need only unlock the inner technology we have forgotten. The core nature of life and our collective and individual purpose is to progress, grow and evolve to fulfillment and as we do so experience joy, peace and love expansively. We are all part of a divine purpose and we hold the history of the universe in every one of the trillions of cells in our physical bodies. We are so much more than what we see reflected in the mirror we have limitless potential. We are more than the conscious beings going about life inside the bounds of what society has molded us into. Our reality goes far beyond what we consciously see. Our brains process over 400 billion bits of information every second, of which we are only aware of 2,000 of those bits of information. We can go beyond our senses to create a new paradigm for our existence. It is our choice. We create and manifest what we believe is real. But what we believe is real is likely to be based on the 2,000 bits of information we are processing every second. Our true reality is so much more than that. It is time to move from an old world regime governed by scarcity, fear and competition into a new world of unity, collaboration, abundance and love and in doing so, unlock our divine potential. There is a planetary shift happening right now. We are living in a transformational time. We are becoming more aware of the power and magnitude of consciousness and being one with the galaxy, the universe, the stars and the moon. To quote Socrates, whatever you see in nature is a reflection of you and it is whispering to you and it is you. We need to look inwards. The power resides inside of us all, in abundance. There is no scarcity, unlike the drug-pushing media try to sell. There is no shortage of energy, no shortage of water, only abundance. And we demonstrate this abundance as we progress and evolve to further develop technology, to tap into the limitless availability of solar energy, and enhance the technology to utilize some of the planet's salt water covering over 80% of the world's surface which will one day provide clean potable water to everybody on the planet. There is no limit to what we can effortlessly achieve if we align our conscious intelligence with the vast grand organized design of the universe that upholds trillions of species here on earth and throughout the galaxy. Through this we become enlightened, empowered and achieve a higher state of consciousness. It is time to redefine what happens to us on the outside and address what we become on the inside. We are here to transcend, become more than any challenge we could face on earth. Rather than battling challenge, we choose to see the opportunities. It is when we find peace in our bodies and release the perceptions of resentment, hate and anger. We release tension and that allows us to create a feeling. A feeling of love and gratitude that opens our heart creating electro and magnetic waves 
inside our bodies so powerful it radiates into the world around us. It is our heart that signals the brain and the quality of that signal results in progressive and empowering actions or vice versa. When our brain receives signals from our hearts, our cells receive the same signals from our brain. If we send poor quality signals, we affect our perception and feeling, which in turn affects the signals going to the brain from the heart. When we send high quality signals creating optimum coherence between heart and brain, we create gratitude. And this is the place where miracles happen in our lives. If these signals are poor, we create increased levels of cortisone, reducing levels of DHEA, the youth hormone, and increased blood pressure. Based on the research confirming the existence of the electromagnetic waves from the heart by the HeartMath Institute in California, there has been further research leading to the discovery of the heart-based field effect, which shows that if enough people engage in meditation or prayer, there's a shift in the community. It has been proven that when a group gets together to meditate to improve safety and security in an area, crime levels come down. For example, in a city of a million people, only about a hundred are needed to come together and meditate to create that effect. The exact mathematical formula for this is the square root of 1%, and given the population of the world, based on this formula, we only need about 10,000 people to meditate for peace, for there to be a resulting shift of a feeling of peace in the world. Hate cannot exist in the existence of such peace. On an individual level, the mind cannot consciously hold on to two opposing emotions of, say, love and hate at the same time. When we are open-hearted, there is no room for resentment or hate. The easiest way to live with an open heart, sending strong, vibrant signals from the heart to the brain and ourselves, is if we truly love ourselves. Yet this is the hardest of all. God, the universe and consciousness exists all around us and is a part of us. We live in a participatory universe, so if we don't love ourselves, how can we love the universe? Princeton physicist John Wheeler says it's impossible for us to separate ourselves. Yet we attempt to do this all the time. It is in our entirety we are one with the universe. Inseparable. Not only the parts of us that we like, or are prepared to acknowledge about ourselves, but as whole beings. And as whole beings, we possess all traits known to man, the good and the bad. And to deny this is an attempt to separate ourselves, polarizing ourselves, making it impossible to love ourselves. And without loving ourselves, we are unable to achieve fulfillment in our lives. As Greg Braden says in his book, The Isaiah Effect, the ancient Essenes, through their lost scrolls, tell us how to love ourselves and to find this place of peace that allows miracles. One, we must know peace in our minds. Two, desire the peace in our hearts. Three, fulfill or become the peace in our bodies. Unity of mind, heart and body. This is the key to loving ourselves. We need to know that we are the cause of our own effect, that we create our own reality. Neville, the 20th century visionary, once said, man's chief illusion is his conviction that there are causes other than his own state of consciousness. Everything that happens to us or done by us is the product of consciousness and nothing else. I elaborate on this and say, a product of our entire consciousness subconscious and unconscious. The vision you hold for your life is yours to take, to command. You have the power, the ability and the knowledge and to deny that is to impoverish yourself. Broaden your awareness and use the power that gives you. As William Blake once said, there is a fine line between imagination and reality. So in your mind's eye, imagine the life you desire. Feel it and think of it from the point of completion. Your focus creates your reality. Own the greatness of yourself and be in awe 
at the extent that all levels of consciousness and the universe conspire with you to create your abundantly fulfilled life.